everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. So another month and another release from Titans of Cult. And uh, I have to admit, I was very excited to get my hands on this one. So up for this month, we have got Stanley Kubrick's masterpiece, A Clockwork Orange. Now this film came out in 4K around a month ago. I think two different editions came out. There was a Zavi Steelbook Collector's Edition and there was also a Standard Collector's Edition. So anyone that's familiar with my channel knows that if a movie comes out with two very special editions, I would normally pick up both. But with this movie, as much as I do appreciate this movie, it is definitely not one of my go-to Stanley Kubrick movies. So I was just happy just to pick up one singular uh, edition of this movie. And of course, it was always going to be Titans of Cult that I was going to wait for. And I have to admit, this goes absolutely beautiful with the rest of the Titans videos. So this video is going to be a simple unboxing video. Uh, I have knocked on the movie. I've looked at, looked at a few minutes just to get an idea of what the picture quality was like. I will share my thoughts on that uh, after I show this. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go into my other room. We're going to open this up and I'm going to give you a good close look at what this, uh, what's inside this box set. So let's do that right now. Right, so here we go. This is the uh, the hour case first. And I have to mesh. Kind of going going by uh, the last release that they brought out, Scott Pilgrim. The outer case is not near as flamboyant as that one, uh, but still quite nice. I have to admit, it's um, yeah, no complaints on my end. Looks great, but uh, that's the spine of it there as well. And then we'll take us around to the back, and uh, yeah, that gives you all your features there. So uh, there's a few commentaries in there. You have you got uh, Channel Four documentary. A few featurettes as well. Actually, a few something like three featurettes on this. So uh, yeah, very nice to get them features. I'm sure it's the same features that we got on the the last Blu-ray that we had out for it. So I'll remove this J card off so we can see the back artwork if I can. Yeah, and that is the back artwork. Again, looks looks absolutely fantastic. No trouble, no problems at all on my end. No complaints. So I just let me put that uh, J card back on because there's actually some glue spots there, and I just don't want to get. Uh, Get stuck to the fabric here so yes yeah, so we'll open her up and we'll just have a look and see what's inside so on this release you get two pins uh which i will start with the pins so uh yeah that's uh the two pins there and uh, i'll take them out and give you a good close look at them so this is the first one and uh it's definitely one of the thinner uh, pins but the pin itself is quite big but uh yeah very very nice very happy with it so yeah that's the first pin and then that brings us on to the second one. And this one is really, really nice. Uh, see if I can oh, get down and me turn around the right way. And I get it up as close as I can. And I hope you can pick that up in the camera. Very, very nice. So yeah, the two pins are quite nice. And uh, I've noticed on their next release for Halloween, uh, they're doing two pins as well with Dash. So uh, yeah, very excited to get hold of the Halloween one. Right, so onto the steelbook itself. And, uh, oh, I thought there was a scratch there. Thank God it wasn't. Whew, I actually thought it was an actual scratch. It was just a piece of uh, fabric. Uh, thank God. So, yes, that's the steelbook. And, uh, yeah, just fairly similar to the uh, the outer case that you got with it. And uh, take it around to the spine of it. And then to the back. And the steelbook is very nice. It's, um, again, no complaints. Uh, is it the best looking release? Probably not. Uh, but it's it's solid. It's very, very solid. So uh, inside then you have got your discs. So that is your, your 4K disc. And then you've got your Blu-ray. And that's the back artwork to have used for the steelbook. So yeah, that's everything you get. So you got your you got your two pins, you got your steelbook, and you got your outer case there. So yeah, again, no complaints on my end. Uh, very, very nice release from Titans. Definitely not one of my favorite ones, but still very, very brilliant. So we'll go back into my other room and I'll just quickly talk about the transfer on this movie. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is everything you get in this set. It's a great set. I do love it. Um, it's not my favorite Titans Occult release, if I'm being to to totally honest. But it's it's a lovely release, and I, I have absolutely no complaints with it. So uh, up next for Titans, we're going to have Halloween coming in December. Uh, that's the 2018 Halloween. And it looks quite decent, that uh, that set as well. And then in January, we have uh, Casino Royale. Now, that one, going by the pictures, is shaping up to be one of the best ones they brought out. And I'm really looking forward to getting my hands on that one as well. Right, so folks, on to the picture quality of what I thought of this. Uh, just my initial thoughts of it. Um, so, I, yeah, I knocked it on. 
Um, I kind of get what a lot of people are saying about this release. It's one of those things that, look, if someone walks into your house, are you going to convince them that they're watching a 4K picture? No, that you're not. Is it the best the film's ever looked? No question about it. By a country mile, this is the best this film has ever looked. And I think it mainly comes down to the HDR. So it does have your standard HDR, no Dolby Vision as well. It's also got a DTS 5.1 audio. And from what I've seen, you know what? It looks great. It really, really does. But it is, I get a lot of people's arguments out there why they think the picture quality is not great. But it's, it's that movie, it's that kind of movie. It never looked great. It always had a soft appearance. And uh, no, I think what they've done with this, I think they've done a fantastic job. The colours are very robust. They're very vibrant. Uh, and I was I was very, very impressed from what I've seen. And from what the audio as well, the audio is, look, it's DTS 5.1. It, it's a clockwork orange, come on. There was no way we were ever going to get Atmos or DTSX sound with it. And from what I've heard, the sound is absolutely fine. No problems with it at all. So that's all I'm going to say about the, the transfer on this movie, folks. Because, again, I can't really give my full thoughts on it because I haven't watched the film in, uh, in full. But like I said, from what I've seen, it, it looks great. It, no question about it. The, the, look, you, I'm, you just have to temper your expectations just a little when it comes to this release. And if you do that, I think you're going to really, really appreciate uh, what you get here. And especially if you put on, a, if you have a previous Blu-ray of this release, knock it on, compare it to this release, and you're going to see a massive jump in quality. No question about it. So that is it, folks. That is everything for today. And uh, as per usual, if you did like this video, please do give us a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below and let me know what you thought of this transfer and what you thought of this release. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. So take care, folks out there. Stay safe. Bye-bye.